Hey there! The long-awaited Mark 8 reproduction PCB boards are finally here. If you're wondering how I went about fabricating these boards, it was a long and meticulous process. The Mark A mini computer was introduced in the July 1974 issue of Radio Electronics magazine. If someone was interested in building a Mark 8, they would need to purchase a set of boards that were being sold for $47.50. Obviously, these kits are no longer for sale. According to John Titus, the designer of the computer, only about 100 kits were sold. And speaking from experience, most of these kits were probably never used or finished and were most likely thrown out. Thus, it's almost impossible to find original boards on eBay although they do show up uh, once in a blue moon. For that reason, the next best approach for someone interested in building a reproduction computer is to make their own PCBs. Radio Electronics Magazine only included a small part of the Mark 8 uh, construction manual, and to obtain the rest, you would have needed to purchase a full manual for $5. Fortunately, the construction manual is now readily available online. In addition to the construction instructions, the manual contains the PCB layouts for each board, which we can use to build our own PCBs. There are quite a few different methods for making PCBs at home from layouts, one of which is the toner transfer method. However, it's a very tedious task to align both sides of each board and hope that shorts don't occur between traces. Additionally, manually running vias can be a tough process, and overall it's not scalable. Therefore, the method I chose for this task was the digital method, converting each side of each PCB bitmap image into PCB footprints, and then adding pads and holes where required. After uh, days of meticulous work, the PCB designs were finally completed, and the gerber files were sent for uh, fabrication. I received the actual PCBs in, in the mail a few days ago, and after examining them, they looked very good. Albeit not perfect, our goal is to make them look as much like the originals as possible. The set contains the CPU board, input multiplexer board, memory board, output ports board, LED register display board, and uh, the address latch board. Additionally, I designed a backplane that will hold all of these boards. The original boards were actually hardwired together, so this will be an improvement, especially during testing. I have some ideas for improving uh, this backplane for version 2.0, but for now it will suffice. I will be starting a new video series where I'll be building a reproduction marquee using these boards. A set of boards like this one will be listed on the hobby store at www.kalinchuk.com for anyone interested in following along with this build. I'll leave a link in the description. Since the PCBs have not yet been physically tested and verified to work, I will offer them at a considerable discount to anyone interested in helping to verify the PCBs with me. Keep in mind that some of the boards may require minor corrections. Uh, the plan is to use uh, time period components for this build, such as these Molux connectors on the LED register display board. They fit very well into the footprint. All remaining components will be introduced in subsequent videos as we assemble each board. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any videos and uh, please like this video if you found it interesting and useful. Until next time!